Hi guys, welcome to Range Rats. Today we have the Wilson Combat 92G Brigadier Tactical, chambered in 9mm. As you can tell, it is basically a 92FS, or a 92G rather. And it does have some different features to make it a 92G and a Brigadier Tactical. We'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, to get safety out of the way, I will make sure it is empty. The mag is empty. And the chamber is clear. This pistol is based off of the M9A1 frame from Beretta, and there are no polymer parts whatsoever on the pistol except for, of course, the grips right there. It does have a rail with two slots, so you can put on your flashlight or laser or whatever you want to put on there. The trigger guard is rounded off. It's not squared like your typical 92 series pistol which is a difference. The trigger, this is not the original trigger for it. It comes with a short reach trigger from Wilson Combat. And I probably will put the original trigger back on it. But the trigger itself is very light and crisp. The double action, it's about a five, six pound pull. And then single action, very crisp, about three pounds. Let's see that again. Very nice. It does have a checkered large mag release right there. You will see checkering on the front and back, which is kind of nice. It does lend to a very positive grip on the gun. It's not too aggressive, but it does get the job done and feels like you're actually holding on to something, which is very nice. And the grips themselves, I believe, are made from VG grips. I could be wrong there, but they also lend to very nice grip on the gun. It does come with three sand resistant mags, which is kind of nice. It has some kind of a, a Teflonish type coating on there. And it's supposed to keep sand and debris off the mag. A little different than your typical Beretta mags, but these are from Beretta. And they're pretty nice. I should mention that the mag release is reversible, so you can change it over to the other side if you want to. Typically, it will come with a lanyard loop. Uh, this one was taken off, and there's a plug there. But it will come with a lanyard loop, I believe, typically. It does have the Elite 2 skeletonized hammer, which is kind of nice. It does not have a safety on it. This is actually a decocker only, so... When you have the hammer back, let's see if I can get this into the camera, and you decock it, you'll see the plunger that hits the firing, firing pin move upward. And the hammer does not hit the firing pin at all, or the plunger that hits the firing pin, rather. So it's a pretty nice feature. And on a tactical combat style pistol, I don't really require a safety on it. I, I would rather have just the decocker only, so this is perfect for me, for my taste, personally. For the sights, you do have a tritium front sight, which is by Trigicon, I believe. So you have a front night sight, and then on the back, you have a rear U-notch. There are little serrations on the back here. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but there are serrations back there. And it kind of cuts down the glare a little bit from the sun and everything, so that's kind of nice. And the front does have kind of a nice little wall there where you can rack it on a table or something like that. That is a nice feature to have. And that decocker does make it a 92G. That's a feature of the 92G. Now the difference of a Brigadier 92G to a 92FS, one of the big differences here, is the slide itself. It does have this kind of a, a braised portion. It's not flat and straight. On a 92FS, it'll be flat and straight across. And it is slightly thicker. It does have a thicker profile. And the reason they did that uh, was because the old 92FSs back in the day, they were having some issues with slide breaking due to heavy use. And it also stands up to more powerful rounds. Now, I'm not saying you should go blow off a thousand rounds of 9mm plus P plus in it or something like that, but it will stand up to the, the higher loads if you really need to for home defense or personal defense or whatever you're doing. Another difference between this and a regular 92 is on the front here on the barrel, it does have a, a recessed crown, which is kind of cool. You won't find that on a lot of 92s out there. 
And I'm really happy Wilson did that. For disassembly, it's fairly easy. There is a button here that you have to push. So you push that in and then there's a little lever you push down and the slide just pops right off and it slides off just like that. Inside you have your recoil spring and your guide rod that does come with a fluted guide rod, which is kind of nice. I don't know if you can see it there. I'll take the spring off. So that is a nice guide rod. And of course it is steel. And then you have your barrel, your barrel assembly. It comes out just like that. You can see that recessed crown a little bit better now. Just kind of reverse what you were doing, put the barrel back in, push down the guide rod. You have to depress it pretty good. Usually it's pretty easy, but of course it's going to be a pain for me on camera. <laughs> There we go. Easy peasy. To put it back on, all you have to do is just kind of line up the, the rails there, run it through, push it back, flip that on, you're done. That's it. Very easy for disassembly, very easy for field maintenance. You can clean it deeper if, you know, we shot this thing, gosh, <laughs> a lot. We've brought this to the range, I, I gosh, I don't know nine, ten times, we shot thousands and thousands of rounds through it, and we have not had barely any hiccup. The barrel itself is cut a little bit shorter than your typical 92FS. As you can see, it's not protruding out the front very much. On an FS, it'll protrude out a bit more. And it is cut down to 4.7 inches, and I believe that is also the same style as the Beretta Elite 2, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly. If I'm wrong about that, let me know in the comments. One thing I will say about the Wilson Combat model, or at least this model from Wilson Combat, the slide and everything, how it fits up, just seems to be a little bit tighter. Definitely tighter than a regular, you know, run-of-the-mill 92FS. It's a very smooth slide action. As far as reliability goes, I would have to say it's kind of off the charts. We ran brass through this, we ran steel, hollow points, we've run probably at least 12, 13 different types of ammunition through this thing. It just eats everything that we throw at it. I've owned two other 92FSs before. One was just a regular Italian 92FS. The other one was a US made one and it was a M9A1, which is what this is based off of. And I pretty much had the same results as far as reliability with those as well. I think it's very consistent across the 92FS platform. Now you talk to some military members who have had these in service, you're probably going to get mixed results on whether they think it's reliable or not. Some will say they hated it. Some will say they love it. And I'm just talking about the 92FS. Not, they didn't have Wilson Combats, of course. So it might vary depending on the conditions you're in. Just for the average US civilian shooter, you're probably not going to have too many reliability problems. Would this make a good range fun gun? Of course, we've taken it to the range many times. We've always had a blast with it. We've never gotten bored with it. It's always been a, a fun thing to shoot. It's accurate. It's easy to handle. There's really not much I can say about it, bad about it from a range shooting point of view. How about other applications like home defense? It's perfectly suitable for home defense. 9mm is fine for home defense. There's plenty of good defense rounds for 9mm. It has a good round capacity. It holds 15 rounds or more if you have extended mags. You can get 20, 25 round mags, I believe. There's options out there for people. And 9mm is used pretty widely for home defense. If it's not an uncommon thing to see. So I would definitely say this is good for home defense. Plus, you, it does have the rails so you can put your flashlights on there and stuff. So at nighttime, you're good, and you do have the night sight in the front, too. How about a shiznit hits the fan application? I, I would say yes. I think it's very suitable for that as a sidearm. It is a full-size pistol. It is geared towards the combat application. It's accurate. It's reliable. It's probably not going to let you down in that situation. So I would probably say yes. It would make a good sidearm for that. How about hunting? Eh, some people go hunting with a 9mm. I've seen it done. Definitely wouldn't want to hunt deer with it. 
Uh, I've seen people shoot deer with 9 millimeters, and they have to shoot it a few times, and it's kind of ugly. It's not really good sport, in my opinion, but, uh, you know, people do what they do, and if this is what you want to do with it, well, I personally don't think it's great for a hunting application, but that's just me. And what else is there to say about the, the Wilson Combat Brigadier 92G? In my opinion, it's definitely the pinnacle of what a 92 in the 92 series can be. Wilson Combat did an excellent job running through these and making all their changes to it. I, I think it's amazing. It's a great collaboration between Beretta and Wilson Combat, and I hope they keep making them or coming out with new ones possibly at the moment, at the time of the making of this video. Wilson Combat isn't selling them anymore. It's on their website, but they've kind of brushed it off to the side in their other guns section, and they don't have any more available, and they have no ETA on when they might have some available. So, will they keep making them? I don't know. This gun has been out for about, geez, seven, eight years. It's, it's been around for a while. So time will tell on that one, and I hope if if they do not sell these anymore, maybe hopefully they will do something else in the 92 series. That would be excellent to see. Another subject to touch on is pride of ownership. When you have one of these, you're now, you know, you're part of the Wilson Combat Club, right? You know, that's important to some people. I, they do make great stuff. Uh, a lot of their pistols are high priced, such as their 1911s. Um, they do other work on other guns, I believe. They do some... Uh, some packages for Glock and SIG, if you send those in, they'll do things to it. But from what I've seen from Wilson Combat, they don't release crap. And you're getting a very nice pistol that already has a big following. It's The 92 has been around for a long, long time. The military used it for about 25 years or so. You're getting an excellent pistol already, and then it's improved by Wilson Combat for about a third of the cost of one of their 1911s. So you can join that Wilson Combat Club for about a third of the cost if you get one of these, if they ever become available again. And again, that's not important to everyone, but it is important to some people. Maybe it's important to you, maybe it's not. Or maybe it's just doesn't matter either way. And that's kind of where I am on it. I don't really care either way that it's a Wilson Combat or not. I just think it's an excellent pistol. I love what they did to it, of course. And I do have pride of ownership of having it now. I know Beretta and Wilson Combat both make excellent stuff and I'm getting the best of both worlds. And while we were talking about price there a few minutes ago, these things run a roughly around $1,200, $1,300, something like that. Uh, I think now that they're they're out of stock from Wilson Combat, you can find them new on some sites like maybe Gun Broker or Guns America or something like that. And there will be a little bit of an upcharge because you can't get it from Wilson right now. And that's just typical of those type of sites, right? They can be found out there even though Wilson isn't selling them right now at the time of the making of this video. But in the nutshell, that is the Wilson Combat 92G Brigadier Tactical. I think it's an awesome gun. I think it's very useful for many applications. Maybe not every application, but many applications. And I am happy now that out of the 92s I have owned, I have what I believe to be the pinnacle of what a 92 can be. I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Everyone have fun out there. Stay safe. And until next time, peace out.